Oi mate, if you're out here getting this one gone, then this one's for you. What's going on guys and welcome back to EME TV and to another video where today unfortunately as you can see from the title it's about a gripe on the EP3 Type R unfortunately. Um, it's not a major major issue but it's something that I will have to bear in mind when I'm coming to sell this thing which I have announced in a previous video but what I'm going to do is I actually stopped off quickly to record this video as I'm on my way to the gym so let's get inside and let's talk about what this gripe is about the EP3 Type R. Oh, son, but well, let's go. Yeah, I'm sure you guys can see me now, but yeah, guys, welcome back to the EP3. Um, and yeah, um, welcome back to another video where, obviously, I'm doing this video poorly on the fact that I've actually announced that I'm gonna be selling this car. Um, come, obviously, we finished the project, which is still ongoing. I'm still waiting for sort of parts and things to come. Um, but yeah, so what, <laughs> what it is, out but yeah what it is about this car and um, what I found out which is quite negative not funny enough and luckily enough anyway it's not mechanic we're still fine on the mechanical side of things everything's sort of been looked after I think more in majority yeah looked after with this car I've tried to do everything because one I'm driving it so I want to make sure that I'm safe on the road and obviously it's reliable which which they are um sorry guys if you can't see me Jesus Christ the sun is like I don't know, sun's out, so it's literally quite weird, but I wish I could go left here. Jesus Christ, but yeah. So yeah, it's not mechanical. However, the thing is, so <laughs> this is the risk as well when buying cars from, from auction. So I've obviously bought this car from auction, and um, it's come to me, and I've obviously applied for the V5. Um, so this car did not come with the V5, which is obviously the logbook to, which shows that your IE owner or the person responsible for taxing the car on the road, um, which I've done. I applied for that and I got that through. So I've got a V5 now in my name. However, when I looked at it, I wasn't best pleased. And why weren't you best pleased, Manny? Well, I wasn't best pleased because when I looked at that V5, I saw that this EP3 has now had or previously had 10 owners 10 owners 10 owners on this ep3 so i think that makes me the 11th owner which on first thoughts first glance that's awful now i honestly speaking if i knew that this car had had that many owners i wouldn't have bought it however what i like and the the, the lucky thing about what I have currently is obviously I've got, I'm trying to build a YouTube channel whereby I'm obviously documenting the cars I get and, and once I obviously start going into sort of trading cars under a thousand pounds and so on, I can then document that as well. But with this having 10 owners isn't ideal and obviously puts off, you can lose a sale purely on that because the general consensus is that why cars would have, why cars would have a lot of owners is because owners have sort of shifted on the maintenance bills and so on because once you get in a car you can run it for a decent amount of time and just shift it on when it needs you know certain things whether that be servicing um, major things with this is sort of timing belts and you know if you have a sort of an engine problem you just try to shift it on unfortunately with with me and however i've just managed to buy a car which has had double digit previous owners which is ridiculous so i believe the next owner after me if when they apply for it it will say 11 keepers which you know it, it just get, keeps going up and up and up but what i'm planning to do obviously which i've already said and um, what i have to sort of fall back on is that i'm going to do everything in my power to make it is still a decent example of an ep3 and um, that's what i've set out to do that's my goal and that's what i'm doing and i'm spending more money than what i'm going to get back and that's purely on the fact that one i was going to make it a very very good example and um, because i was going to keep it um at first thought when i bought it i was like yeah, yeah i'll keep this but change of plans i'm going to sell it but i'm still going to make it a decent example for the next owner now a decent example to an extent because as i've previously said obviously the category the category n that is currently got on its name or to its name will never go away however i can still make it very very good very very nice for the next owner to love and cherish like i'm trying to do and yeah it's just going to be hopefully fingers crossed a lovely ep3 all round so yes unfortunately the ep3 currently has 
a decent amount of owners. Fortunately for me, this is just one of the things that you can't, that you have to deal with when you're buying cars from auction. I I actually can't see and can't tell how many owners a car has had previously before I've bought it. I'm pretty sure there's individuals out there that have sneaky ways and tricks of how to check cars, how many owners of the cars have had before buying them, but unfortunately I don't know those and when I did buy this anyway, I didn't know them. Therefore, I've bought one with quite high owners, but that means that it's got to take a bit of a hit when I do come to sell it. I might have to sell it a tad cheaper than what I'm thinking in my head. It's not too bad. I might lose a couple hundred pounds or might have to sell it for a couple hundred pounds cheaper than what I initially wanted to. But the, 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 the peace of mind that I have is that I'm still going to put as much money as I want to and feel is necessary into making it a decent example or good enough example for somebody to cherish and love and want to sort of maintain to a decent standard afterwards as well. But yeah, guys, you let me know as well what would that would that put you off high mileage owners does that put you off it certainly puts me off i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie but with everything that i'm gonna do with the car and obviously documenting it and making sure that things are sort of new it has new parts and it has this that and the other would that still put you off i don't know it probably it probably, it probably would uh, by all means by all means but hey ho luckily with my fn2 i bought that as well in the same in the same way i bought this from an auction um didn't know how many owners it had and luckily that only had four so i was quite lucky with that i don't mind you know sort of five five is probably my top i would go for depends on the depends on the jesus christ sorry guys i'm getting blinded but it does really depend on the price of the car that i'm buying as well <laughs> what a day to, to, to be fair we've got lovely weather in the uk this week it's just been lovely weather so this is a time where the ep3 comes into its own and i just shift down into second gear like this put my foot on the pedal like that and just have fun <laughs> but yeah guys this was literally a quick video just just trying to obviously explain to you guys what i found out quite annoying um and yeah no, i'm gonna be very very transparent obviously when coming to sell it i'm gonna make sure that the new owners know everything about this car they will know everything about this car um because it will be i will send everybody back to my youtube channel to show them what i've done i.e the bad things the good the good and bad it's just good for the next owner to obviously know everything you know and be comfortable with it because that's the only way you can have a decent sale in and turn as well build a decent relationship with individuals you sell casting so yeah that's what i'm going to try and do unfortunately this has got 10 owners but yeah you guys let me know if that would put you off at all in buying your car or your next car or even an ep3 or type, any type of path for that matter but guys thanks a lot for listening to this little waft or this little well anyway thanks a lot thanks a lot for you guys tuning in and obviously watching another video on on this channel and um, me obviously just chatting crap now and just done that the petrol light has just come on so we will be stopping off at tesco i guess i guess i shouldn't be getting into vtech too much but yeah guys as i always say thanks a lot i appreciate the support as always thanks a lot for watching this video thanks a lot for the likes the subscribe i mean we're almost on 500 subscribers now so if you guys could if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe that will help the channel out a load as well as clicking that like button as well i'll have some more content coming on the ep3 i'm waiting for some parts to come as we speak and yeah, I'll be documenting more about what we're going to be doing to it. And I will also announce when it will be going up for sale in a future video. But yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. As I said, stay tuned for more content to come. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. And let's end it in a second gear pool. <laughs> Take care, guys. Mate, if you're out here getting this one, then this one's for you.